Okay, I'm gonna show you the simplest way to turn an old aquarium pump, which is positive pressure into a negative pressure pump. So this one is made by Second Nature Challenger 1. Pick this one up for $3. Same thing with this one, $3. This one is made by Metaframe, this model Hush 1. And it only has one port on there, and this is to give positive pressure. And we have a digital manometer here. Let's go ahead and plug that in. You can see it's about 1.7 PSI. seven psi positive pressure the simplest way to convert this to a negative pressure pump uh, I just looked at it I was gonna flip around the diaphragm so I could use this same pour for vacuum but then I realized that there is only one input or there's only one output there's no port for en air entering the pump and it sucks air from the inside of the housing here so I took a look and found that around the cord area is kind of a bad seal so it actually sucks air from around the cord area so what I did is I sealed all that off and added a second port here just a threaded port so now when I plug into that side this is the only way that air can enter the pump now See, it's a little bit less, but we have it's not it's not designed for vacuum. It's a positive pressure pump. But we're getting negative 0.75 psi. And if we convert that to inches of water column, that's negative 21 inches of water column. That's pretty good pressure uh, for something that wasn't designed for it. So negative 0.78 psi. That is the simplest way to turn a old aquarium pump into a vacuum pump and a pressure pump at the same time. So this one says it gives you four psi uh, output, which it's, it's moving a lot of air. But as soon as you connect the with the hose to it it slows it down so it's not very good at building pressure but it's good at moving air so hopefully this helps uh, just a quick little video on how to make a vacuum pump